to rolling with them and knowing when to slip that hook in and knowing when to push them over a little bit so that you can either get a right again or put a hook in. So, go ahead. All right, so first things first, when I am riding, it doesn't matter if I've got, you know, around the belt line or if I've got the seat belt, my knee is in his, his butt so that I can tr control this near side hip, okay? My foot is outside of his feet so he can't roll through for a knee bar. But that doesn't mean I still can't control this hip. If I'm all the way over here, all Ripper is gonna do is grab that leg and now he's just switched me, okay? So I, in order to stop that, I have to ride this hip with my knee. Okay, so now when he tries to turn in, see, he can't. I just sit there and, and use my knee to, to basically as an early warning system, okay? And what will usually happen is while they're doing that, you wait until he stops, okay? And then you use this as a post and just hook that in there, okay? Notice I'm still squeezing with the back of my knee because then even if he rolls, now, I can get him in like a half and still control him until I roll him back over and get my other hook in. But I can still get a, a nice ride here and submit a guy from having a back half ride, okay? Which is what I call it when you've got one hook in and you cross your feet, okay? Yeah, and you know, a single leg ride really is a good strong ride. A lot of guys don't give it credit. It, they, they want both hooks in, but really, a lot of guys make a career out of a single leg ride. Yeah. yeah. And that's in, yeah, Eddie Bravo, so jujitsu, submission grappling. You don't really see a lot in MMA, but I think that's just because he hasn't quite caught up yet. Certainly freestyle wrestling. Um, and you even see it in Sambo a lot. So uh, just realize that once you loosen up on one of those two grips, the guy's going to turn in on you, okay? So realize that you better be either really, really good at that ride if you want to ride him for more than like 30 seconds, or you better transition to something, okay? Now this, the second part is, again, it doesn't matter which way I'm going, if it's around here or around there, but if he starts rolling immediately and doesn't even worry about trying to scramble, okay? As soon as he rolls, whichever way he's rolling, that hook comes in, okay? If he's smart, he's gonna jam his other thigh against the ground, okay? Now I can't get my other foot there. I can't get that other hook. But I've still got my grip and I've got an underhook with my foot. So I can roll him this way and then use that hook to give me some space and roll him over, okay? And now I've got the other hook. So the idea is stay tight up top and use your other hook to just manipulate them a little bit until you can roll them this way or roll them that way and eventually you'll get back on top of them. You're winning with this position, don't give it up, okay? And certainly don't like stop your, your hand grip. The minute you let go up here is the minute you lose the position, okay? Keep his back at all costs. I mean, whether yeah. it's one leg or get both legs in, keep his back. Keep his back, okay? And I might even have this, okay? And I can't even get the, the hooks, so all I do is I tilt him, and I put him back on his back. But you notice, I still kept my hands together, okay? That is still on his back, okay? All right, until your both hooks are in, or you have that, that back half ride, or single leg ride, depending on how you want to put it, your hands should always be together. All right, go. Oh, one point I want to make, guys, constantly, unlike amateur wrestling, we our goal is to control in amateur wrestling so we don't get points for back rides, you know, getting behind them like in amateur wrestling. But So we have to make it lead to something. Right. So that's why you have to control that back and, and make it lead to something. So have in your mind all the time this is going to lead to something, even if it's, if he's, you know, beat you and you just got to scramble to get out of trouble yourself, you want to get his back, but you want it to lead to something. So control and lead to something which would be a submission or a pin or something right. like control, that. Control, position, submission, right? Because at the very least, if you don't have the, the submission, you've still got the position and the control, and that'll eventually lead to something, okay? All right, go.